With UK Federal Credit Union, get paid to save on your auto loan. When you refinance your auto loan, you'll receive 1% cash back on the loan amount. So what are you waiting for? Refinance today and put some extra money in your pocket. UK Federal Credit Union. It's banking, only better. Cal, it seems like uh, since EJ came off of injury, he's become a completely different player. What do you attribute that to? Well, he's, he's healthy. He's being more confident. He's playing more physical. Um, but like I told him, I said he exchanged baskets too many times today. Like, we're going to be playing teams where you, you have to fight to stay in front, to go grab balls with two hands. You, you, you know, and again, I may be asking a lot. He had 28 points, and he's 12 out of 16. Is that what he was? Or 12 out of whatever. But I'm looking beyond just this game. Like, okay, where do we got to take this? Same with Tyrese. I thought Keon was terrific. But then again, he missed three balls right near the rim because of the little physical play. He just threw it versus I'm going to take the contact and make it. It's, we're still a work in progress. I'll, I'll say this. I am so – like, Khalil's making strides, but his attitude is so good, it is incredible. Like – I, and and they, they all know I notice everything. You may think I'm just screaming, but I'm listening. And then I'm watching. The, I'm like, I'm on everything. And watching and hearing him cheer for his teammates um, and then go in and he's still figuring it out. He's not where he's going to be here in a month. But this stuff was all new, and it kind of zapped him a little bit. Unbel I hugged him in there. I said, I am so proud of you. Your attitude is unbelievable. And then I got to remind these guys after the game, like even Nick. I mean, Nick could have had 25 and 15, and he goes and messes around. And, and I'm responsible for each one of these kids becoming their best version. And I'm also responsible for winning as many games as we can win. Like here, it's like every game by 20. But I also have that responsibility. And how do I go about it? What am I doing? It's all different ways. Every kid is different. But I'm holding them to a high standard. Had a great week of practice, which followed this. Now we got another week of practice. If I can go two and three a days, I will. Are they still in class? I got to talk to Dr. Capilouto, see if he'll cancel classes for, give me three days anyway. But it's, we've gotten better because of it. Coach, this was Kentucky's 600th win at the Rupp Arena. What does it mean to you and to the whole university? Um, um, it, look, I said this before, and this started with Coach Rupp. He never really got to coach in this building. Um, but everybody who's followed him has won a national title, just about everybody. Um, everyone that's followed him has probably won 90% of their games in this building. So it's not just me, it's like everybody, he set that base. Um, I brag on Coach Hall all the time because who would want to follow that? And he did and went to Final Fours and won a national title and had all the stuff in the league and everything that he did. Um, this is a unique place. I mean, it's, this is one of those, you know, uh, I'm blessed that I even had an opportunity. I mean, I, you know, what, how did I get here and what happened for me personally? I don't know, but this university, um, you know, you know, even now, I mean, what's happening in all the sports? Let's go volleyball. They got to win today. They're playing Michigan, but whether it's softball, baseball, whatever it is, our our cheer dance team. I mean, think about it. And and the pride, all 50 states, 100 different countries, every county in our state represented here. Three billion dollars in Building, buildings, academic entrance exams, our scores have never been higher in the history of this school. We're like on that kind of climb. And uh, I'm just happy that I can be a part of it. And, you know, I don't know how many we've won in this building, how many, whatever that is. But, you know, I'm glad that we played a, a part of it. Cal, anything particular Johnny Juzang did to earn his first start practice wise? Fought. How about the biggest play of the game? You won't know it because you guys don't know basketball, but the biggest play of the game was we're, we're struggling. I got to call a timeout. Like, what, what, what are you doing? We do this every game. 
Like, why would you give them, take two bad shots and let them get seven points in a row in a 7-0 run? Tell me what. We go down, Johnny Drive misses the shot, but grabs it and lays it back in, gets fouled, makes two free throws. He stopped the bleeding, and it wasn't like he did anything but fight. And that's what he's been doing in practice. And I want to get some guys fighting, coming off the bench. Like, I need you. You want to go back to starting or you want to start? Earn it in practice. Fight. So, um, but he deserved it. He really did. Sean, I didn't know if you got a chance to read Jerry Tipton's article this morning on Coach Horenda. He was referencing uh, Coach's significant health challenges and how that kind of changed his entire perspective. Just let me say this. I never read Jerry, but go ahead and say what you're saying. So what else was it? He was talking about how Rose, his, don't laugh at me. His, you encourage me by <laughs> laughing. How his main illness had changed his entire perspective on how he dealt with his players. He was a lot more compassionate. And I know you're pretty uh, demonstrative and demanding on the court, but I know inside you have a big, deep sense of compassion also. So how has that changed over the years in, in which you've been coaching? Well, and, and Greg has been a good friend for a long time. Um, we're hoping his son comes to school here, by the way. Um, and he's an unbelievable coach on top of being a great guy. And he and I were in the East for a long time together. But what happens as you, as you age, um, you know, the reality of what this is kind of hits you. And early on, you're trying to survive. Like, I had no basement to go back to. Like, there wasn't like, okay, Dad, I got to go work for you. No. So early in your career, you're in a dogfight. Everything is a struggle. Everything is a fight to survive. You hit a certain point, and then you realize, like when I get together with the UMass guys, like I apologize. I know what I was like. I can't believe you could play for me. And not only that, you fought for me and won. And they, they say I'm soft. So when they see me coach and practice now, they say you got soft. But times have changed in this regard. This, this social media and all the other stuff that they read. When we grew up, not some of you young guys here, there were three channels. ABC, NBC, CBS. There wasn't 195, I'll watch whatever I want. There wasn't call waiting. The phone rang 6,000 times if the guy didn't hang up the phone. I mean, it just kept ringing and ringing and ringing. And you're like, is this guy understand I'm not picking up this phone? And he just kept calling his 78. I'm counting them now. It's 89, 90, 91. He finally hung up the phone. I'm like, are you kidding me? Who was it? I want to pick up the phone. Who would dial a phone 90 straight times? But I didn't. But you, now these kids, anybody in any part of the world can get a hold of them and tell them whatever they want to hear. It's different how you, like, these kids need me in a different way than kids in the past. And they need more individual meetings. They need to know, yes, I do love you even though I'm hard on you. They need to know stuff that I had kids, and we were just talking about Bruiser Flint and I, who's is my brother. He's, he said, Cal used to get on guys at UMass and they wanted to prove you wrong. Yeah, you think that? Yeah, watch this. I had one guy. I can't remember exactly what I called him. I, I do remember, but he started making baskets, and he got 30 in the second half at Rhode Island. And every Jimmy McCoy, every basket he made, he looked at me. How about that? And I didn't say anything because we ended up beating him by 100 because he got 30 in the second half. But even that case, I didn't go back and smooth that over, and it, it, it bubbled for too long. I should have gone right away. I learned that lesson. But now if I do that same thing to some of these kids, it's, it, they're more fragile. There's so much thing, stuff coming at them that it, you got to deal with it different. Now, I'm, I'm still holding them accountable, and I told them after the game, what's the best version of you look like? And it can't be in just one area. It's got to be this is what you need to do. And I think they know we care and we're about them. Yeah, we got to win. But we're about their growth, and we're about – 
what they're doing. And yeah, I've changed because I don't have the energy. Like, you won't believe this. I got to get sleep. I got to sleep where before I could go and go. Now, at, my, at 48, when you start getting older like this, it, you got to get more rest. But... Coach um, John Frenda said that, uh, or Coach Frenda said that he felt like today was a quote Kentucky festival. I mean, based on your good mood, I'm guessing that uh, it's fair to say that it was a festival based on how your big men played today. I didn't think Nick played particularly well, um, but you know, I, I told him you got arrogant today, hungry and humble, hungry and humble. You start getting arrogant, and and what happens is all the He's invested in his positive, his own self-esteem. He invested in it, and you, it can be taken away, not by me, by himself, by reverting back and playing in a way that you played a year ago when I couldn't keep you in games. I couldn't keep you in. You're not doing that stuff, and you revert it today. So, again, it's my job. It's... You know, even at the end of the game, we didn't finish the way I went. I talked to him after. I don't care about the score. We're trying to get better. How do we finish a game off? So, but, you know, Keon did well. Um, Emmanuel, I think, is playing well. Ashton again, 11-2. and two. And he knew because I asked him how many turnovers you had. He said, I had two. So he's getting the idea of got to be more careful with the ball. So I think the last two games, he's 32-4. and four assist to turnover ratio. Well, let me see if anybody in the country is doing that. But. So you're, you're going, um, you're getting into a tough part of schedule yep. with Georgia Tech and yep. Utah, et cetera, et cetera. Yep, Ohio um, State. Ohio State and Louisville, they're saying, are the best two teams in the country. And, and you know why? Both teams fight. Both teams are unbelievably coached. Both teams um, are playing they're screening, they're creating good shots for each other. And if you walk in that game with any coolness, you'll get beat by 30, 30. And so, but I'm not worried about them right now because we got Georgia Tech and Utah. Utah scored 143 points in one game. They're six and one, seven and one, 143. We couldn't do that if it was five on oh. We couldn't get to 143, running our stuff. So we got a tough road ahead of us. I mean, Georgia Tech, the games that Georgia Tech has played for Josh has got them ready to come in here and play us. So what would you say is the number one thing that the team needs to work on? Um, Fight these next few games? and finish. It's all I'm focused on right now. Fight. What does that mean? That means when you're playing against another guy, you're not just exchanging baskets. You're trying to dominate him. But listen but you got to help us dominate them. So you can't just worry about dominating him, but you got to dominate him. you got to fight for a rebound. You don't run from contact. How about this? He's trying to bump you on a drive. Well, fight back and play through two bumps before you shoot it. He, he bumps me and I shoot a runner? You didn't fight. He fought and you didn't. He's trying to fight you to go into a screen. Well. I'm forcing him that way, and I'm going to fight harder than he fights to run me into this screen. I'm going to fight to get over it. All this stuff. How about this? Did you see us run better today? Like we ran? Well, we've worked on that because, again, you know what that means? I'm going to fight to outrun my guy. However hard he runs, I'm going to run harder. How about running back on defense? However hard he runs, I'm running faster because I'm going to fight. That's all the fight that this team – we were exchanging baskets. And we have some guys that were saying, I'll be all right. Really? No, you won't. That has to change. So we got another week, fight and finish. And that's all I'm th focused on right now. The end of the game, last four minutes, how are we going to play? So – but it's uh, – this, this was good for this team. This was good. Now and, – and again um, – Obviously, we got work to do, but we're we're making the strides we need to make. Thanks.